Down there shooting into 8-5, which means you'll want no warrant. She down to Dodge, Fort Sam, Maria De La Rosa. Where's the driver? Where's the driver? Is there anybody in there? Uh, why are you such a bitch? Fuck, dude. Uh, I don't fucking like that at all. Six. Sorry about that. Time for copy six, Mary Boy Charles, three five six. Two thirty two with eight thirty two to Forest Bridge, then two fifty west, sixty eight. Oh, 
Is there anybody in there? Six miles in Highland. Six, 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 six,
Garden Coast Radio Air 14749 Calvary Street at the Geek Nation Business Calvary Square House Motion Non traditional incident 
Metro from 
Two two buildings with three female covered in the dark covered blanket. Who told to the fire line forward? Seventeen eighty five. Seventeen eighty five. Council incident first seven six seven twenty one eight ninety seven one hundred. Where's the driver? Is there anybody in there? That's gonna blow. Is there? You saw him? I did not see anybody got out. It's on impact that got him. On impact that blew up? Yeah. Could you mind if I grab your, your statement? Oh, so please, do, no, 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 okay. No. Well, you look great. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of car is that? A uh, Mercedes? <laughs> Looks like it's a Mercedes. Mercedes. <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't sound like it. I don't know. We don't know yet. Don't know? Ho hopefully not. Hopefully not. Did you hear it? Yeah. Did you see it? Santa Monica. Yeah. You saw it? Yeah. They buy the donuts in the tunnel. What? You you saw the crash or you saw him going fast? And I I understand a little a little bit English. Okay. What did you see? But but he coming like like twenty a hundred and all day all day all day car. Coming up. fast, fast, a lot of fast. So, did you and see him the, hit the tree? And the floor that we're coming to the, the highland, like that, in the floor. And then, what did you see? No, no, I don't know. I don't know. See the, the, the inside, the, the people inside, but, uh, but uh, I see only the car, but uh, too much of fire, 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 fire. And then, when I keep coming, they, and I hit the, and I know, like this. Not, did you see anybody get out of the car? I know, I not see. Thanks. Santa Monica, la Santa Monica. 
Pero la, la, la paz, detrás de la flor. Espera un momento. ¿Eh? Espera un momento. Pues yo entro ahorita a trabajar. While the international manhunt continues for NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden, back here at home, mystery surrounds the death of an investigative journalist who died in a fiery car crash. Was it an accident or murder? It doesn't. It Was this shocking like car it. crash a tragic accident or murder? An impact that blew up. Yeah. This dramatic video was shot just moments after the Mercedes slammed into a palm tree in Hollywood around 4 a.m. on June 18th. The driver who died in the inferno was one of the country's top investigative journalists, 33-year-old Michael Hastings. He's best known for the Rolling Stone magazine article that led to the resignation of General Stanley McChrystal as U.S. commander in Afghanistan in 2010. This is where Michael Hastings died in that fiery crash. Because the investigative reporter was working on a story about the CIA before his death, it didn't take long before conspiracy theorists started claiming foul play was involved. This blog went so far as to suggest Hastings didn't die in an accident, but was assassinated. And this man actually hammered a sign into the palm tree, claiming a conspiracy in Hastings' death. Conspiracy theorists are pointing to the intensity of the fiery explosion as highly unusual in a single car crash. They also point to an email Hastings sent to friends just hours before the crash, saying, I'm onto a big story and need to go off the radar for a bit. I spoke to freelance news cameraman Scott Lane, who shot the video of Hastings' car in flames. I turned the corner, I saw the car was on fire. I saw a homeowner, I believe he lives right here. He had a hose in his hand, he was trying to put out the fire. He told me he was sitting in his car at this gas station, listening to his police scanner right before the crash. His dash cam camera caught Hastings' Mercedes running a red light at high speed. Here it is again in slow motion, gone in almost the blink of an eye. The controversial website WikiLeaks says Hastings claimed he was being investigated by the FBI, but an FBI spokesperson says at no time was journalist Michael Hastings ever under investigation by the FBI. But that hasn't stopped this well-known conspiracy theorist, Alex Jones, from claiming that Hastings' death wasn't an accident. And I've looked at the evidence. It looks like a car bomb. Jones, who sees conspiracies everywhere, has faced ridicule for years. Minutes. You will not stop the republic. Humanity is awakening. Infowars.com. No. I don't believe it's anything out of the ordinary, the type of fire that we see here that ignited from this crash. We asked Stephen Emelo, an accident investigator, crash. to look at the video. If a vehicle crashes and a fuel line is severed, a fire will ignite, and over time, the fire will become more and more intense. The cameraman who recorded the crash that's now burning up the internet agrees. All I know is that a car was traveling fast, it hit a tree, burst into flames, and that's what happened. And we'll be right back with much more Inside Edition after this. When investigative reporter Michael Hastings died in a fiery crash in Hollywood back in June, police said it was an accident. But some security experts believe there may have been something more sinister going on, and researchers are worried that cars are now vulnerable to computer hackers.
CBS 2's Serene Branson is live in Hollywood with the story. Serene. Well, Pat, it is not just conspiracy theorists. A counterterrorism expert tells CBS 2 News we may never know what really happened in that crash. And now with so many cars controlled by multiple little computers and some controlled by an app on a smartphone, researchers say they're concerned about the vulnerability of computer-controlled cars. The fiery single car crash that killed controversial journalist Michael Hastings in Hollywood raised questions about whether it was truly a tragic accident. Hastings most notably wrote pieces that brought down a military general. And recently, former U.S. coordinator for security and counterterrorism Richard Clark claimed what evidence is available publicly is consistent with a car cyber attack. There is reason to believe that intelligence agencies from major powers, including the United States, know how to remotely seize control of a car. Even though the LAPD ruled the crash or an accident. The Department of Defense says the Pentagon has explored remotely controlling cars by computer hacking. You could remotely wreck someone or remotely stop the car. Chris Valasek hacks computers for a living to expose security issues. He says one worry is an attacker could stop many cars at the same time during rush hour. He and his partner hacked into the 30 little computers in this car using a laptop. We were able to take control of the brakes, the steering wheel, the seat belts, we could tighten them. And they do this by getting into the onboard computer and the onboard diagnostic systems, and they're able to reprogram it to do pretty much whatever they want. Liam Omerku is a computer expert at Symantec Security Software in Culver City. He's followed research at schools like Rutgers, where they're looking at the dangers of motor car manipulation, especially from a mobile device by hacking into a car app. When you add more technology, you're opening the attack surface, and that's what uh, attackers are looking for. Now experts are urging car makers to step on it to stay ahead of car hackers. And experts say, unfortunately, at this point, there's really nothing you can do to protect yourself or tell if your car's computer has been hacked. In the meantime, we're told the U.S. Department of Transportation is working with car manufacturers like General Motors and some others to improve their security measures. Reporting live from Hollywood, Serene Branson, CBS 2 News.